Hey guys, Nick Jerosos here. So today I'm going to teach you how to apply a chokehold. Now, uh, I remember when I was working in the club, because people might say, how effective is it? The reality is once the chokehold is put on properly, there's, there is no escape. And I remember one time there was a huge fight at one of the clubs I was working in. And as the, the doorman was fighting with, 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 or with the client going down, I'm coming down the stairs and he was chest to back with me, scrapping it out with the doorman. And all I did was this, apply the choke. Within a few seconds, lights out. So you have to be careful how to apply it because if you use your forearm and do this, you're actually strangling and crushing the windpipe. That's not what you want to do. You want to stop the blood flow to the brain. You want to go to the carotid artery. You want to stop right over here. You want to put pressure on both sides where you're stopping the oxygen. So what you would do is, what's very important is that the elbow has to be underneath the chin. Your biceps and your forearms are blocking the both arteries. The other hand comes around and you're squeezing, pushing the head forward. So I'm not using my forearm to strangle him. I'm going up on their chin. I'm squeezing the bicep and the arm and I'm applying pressure. And what I like to do is even put my head, it's tucked in and I squeeze. Now the reality, what's going to happen with the first two seconds, the person's gonna do this. Now, if you put it on tight, there's no way he's gonna be able to open it up. So think about it, once you put it in, once you apply it, imagine like a vacuum, you're sucking out all the air, you're, you're coming, you're, you're taking everything out, and you go like a, like, like a python, and you're going right in here, and you're, so what you're doing is, you're, you're blocking all the oxygen that's going to the brain like a python, you're sucking out all the air, you're pushing, you're squeezing the biceps, and you're pushing the head, the head forward. This is a great, I love this position too because I'm also able to use them as a shield if, if there's multiple attackers. Now what's going to happen within a few couple of seconds, they're going to try to open up. By the third or the fourth, they're going to feel the body getting a little bit heavy. Now what you want to do, and what I did is when I applied the choke and I felt the body, I took a step back and I leaned. And at one point I had him like sitting and the guy was huge. He was like a little kid, like sitting like this, passed out to the point that I put his head down. Because what you don't want to do is put on the choke, have him, and then let him drop because just the back of the head slamming onto the floor, well, that could cause a concussion or, you know, possibly even kill him because it's dead weight going straight onto the ground. So when you do do it, when you feel the body starting to get heavy, Bring him down slowly. Don't keep it. As soon as you feel a person about to pass out, go down with him and let him go slowly. Let it go slowly. And if you see the guy's fighting, boom, put it on again. So I hope, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you want to learn more self-defense, go visit our website, coderedefense.com. If you want to buy the Bob Dummy and love this training, training tool, click the link below. We're going to leave the link for you guys. So uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Stay safe and stand strong.